Okay, this PSLE 2024 question can be solved easily using unit transfer method. So let's look at the problem. At first, Tina had a total of 97 small and large magnets. That is your before. She gave away four small magnets, bought some large magnets. That's the change. Number of large magnets increased by 50%. That's another change. Remember to convert percentages into fractions in their simplest form first so that it will be easier for you to allocate your units. At the end, she had a total of 114 magnets. So let's draw out the table first. Small, large, before, change, after. Okay, total here is 97. So she gave away four small and bought large magnets such that it increased from two units by one unit to, to give you a total of three units here. Okay, so the total is going to experience that same change. Okay, once we have this, we can analyze the total here. You will see that 1 unit and 93 adds up to 114. So you can draw a mini model to guide you through on what you need to do to find the value of 1 unit. Okay, 1 unit must simply be 114 minus 93 to give you 21. So, to answer part A, how many large magnets did Tina have in the end? This is what you need to find. Okay, so part A is 3 units worth. 3 times of 21 will give you 63. Okay, that's the answer for part A. Then for part B, did Tina have more small or large magnets at first? And how many more? To deal with this, we can simply find out the value of two units first. Okay, that's two times of 21 to give you 42. So if this, you have four, if you have 42 large at first, you minus that off. From the total, you will get 55 small over here. Then 55 minus 42 will give you 13. So you had more small magnets and there were 13 more at first.